Hello everyone, I'm Geek Freak and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be reacting to Topo vs Mario, Dragon Ball vs Nintendo, Fan War, Fatal Conflict. If you, so if you guys haven't seen this video, please go and watch that video first. This is what's that, come back, watch, it, watch this, and so let's continue. Topo vs Mario. Really? I mean like, really, 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 really? Okay, okay, okay. Um, okay. I don't want to be a spo I don't want to do spoilers here, but Topo is going to be the winner, definitely, one hundred percent. Simply because, I mean, come on, come on. I mean, Topo is your know, basically um a universe destroyer at this point. I mean, I mean, I mean, no, no offense to the like you know to the Mario fans or anything like that, but jeez, come on, man. Unless, unless, unless. <clears throat> There, there is a uh, a chance that Mario, over the, over over time since I uh, saw him, has gotten like you know even more powerful since uh, since uh, you know the, since I saw the other games. So um, who knows? Maybe maybe Mario might actually be Topo. I mean, <laughs> I mean, come on, it's Mario. Um, so uh, yeah, I th I'm, I'm gonna say that uh, Topo's got. Got uh, this one, so uh, yeah. Well said and done. Let's get to watching. Just give me a second. Okay, so this is Topo versus Mario, Fan War, uh, Fatal Conflict, and three, two, one, and go. Make hey guys, before the video okay. starts, if you enjoyed this episode and want to support my channel, consider supporting me on Patreon. Patrons not only get a shout out in my videos, but will also get cool access to patron exclusive content. Such as <laughs> animation updates, alternate endings, sneak Yay. polls that'll determine what future projects will happen, even early access to new episodes of Fan War an entire week before they're released to the mm. public. And of course knowledge regarding episodes long before they enter production. Now that's a deal worth fighting for. The link is down in the description below for those who want to join. But for now, enjoy the show. Yay! What comes to mind when fun. you think of the word champion? Maybe a fit athlete? Maybe a mighty hero wearing a cape. Well, when it comes to these two portly powerhouses, they definitely uh, don't fit that unique um, mold. Topo, warrior of freedom and god of destruction in training. And Mario, I was thinking Rocky. Nintendo's legendary star child and defender of the Mushroom Kingdom. Now, for this fight, we will be looking at Topo from both the anime, manga, and Super Dragon Ball heroes. And for Yay. Mario, since the cartoons have no real notable feats, the manga does to Mario what Archie Comics did to Sonic in the movie. Yay. Uh, we'll stick to his video games. We will also ignore any information from Super Mario Galaxy 2, simply because it's heavily implied yeah. in the story told by Rosalina and not an actual canonical adventure Mario went on. I'm one fish mob and he's three crab mob. And it's our job to see who would win a fatal conflict. The world of Dragon Ball. It's as complex as it is crazy. For within it, <laughs> it's got death battle all over it. <laughs> are led by many powerful gods and angels, all working together to ensure balance is kept. While some rule over them all, others work as servants. And whereas some create new assets for their universe, Others come along to destroy them. But like all jobs, even gods need to retire eventually. So when the destroyer of Universe 11 decided his time to retire was approaching, he needed to find a suitable replacement. And the luck would have it that the best candidate to ensure destruction balance our creation was a warrior who fought for freedom and justice. Yep. 
And his name is Tom. Wrong. That is the name given to him in the English dub of Dragon Ball Super. In the original Japanese translation, as well as every other appearance he's made in English, his name is Topo. Well, at least it sounds cooler than being named after a children's plaything. Leader of the heroic pride troopers and Thank defenders you. of the innocent, Topo. that title Topo. may not sound like it'd be fitting for a god who destroys everything. <laughs> and while his real reason I, I mean, can you imagine if um, if Jiren got the um, the like God's destruction power? This position to give him the power to ensure his universe would never fall into ruin or chaos. But regardless of why he decided to become a God of Destruction, Topo the Top's already proven he's more than strong enough to fit that quota. He's strong enough to upturn the ground around him, match people who can destroy planets. And his power is comparable to those who have challenged yep. God. He's walked off powerful key blasts and repeated strikes from powerful opponents. And despite his bulky physique, he's actually very nimble, even graceful in battle. Able to dodge most enemy attacks and key blasts with the utmost of ease, and keep up with yep. opponents who have been known to move massively faster than the speed of light. <laughs> and when it comes to beating up his enemies, Topo prefers using a fighting style based mostly around joint lock and submission holds. He'll spin his <laughs> opponents with Justice Tornado, dislocate limbs with Justice Crusher, crush enemies with Justice Rear Naked Choke, and just punch people with Justice Punches. Does he really need a special name for that? And like most Ouch. fighters within his multiverse, he is able to tap into and use a natural power called Ki. An energy that flows through all living things. <laughs> With it, he can harness it into various forms, from simple flight to many of its trademark techniques, like its key blast and the justice beam. Or he can say screw you to accuracy and use Justice Flash, a rapid firing volley of key blasts that lay waste to everything in front of him. But key Just... isn't the only thing he has. Because he is a destroyer in training, he's able to use the yeah, that was a great fight. The destroyer to, well, destroy anything. The energy of destruction. And once he switches over from his normal key to this godly power, he truly becomes the god he's training to be. And given how this is the same energy other destroyers use, he should possess the same ability to destroy anything he so desires. He even gets a few new techniques exclusive with the energy of destruction, like the Justice Blast, a sphere of destructive energy that yep. basically obliterates everything it hits, or the Sphere of Destruction, which is the same thing as the last, but with two orbs combined into one. He can even surround himself in a barrier Ouch. of this energy for a near impenetrable defense. But none of his abilities are as dangerous as the standard technique all destroyers have. Hakai. With <laughs> it, he uses the energy of destruction to wipe anything he wants from existence. And while he himself never used it on another individual, we do know from other gods of destruction that this technique is capable of bypassing any form of immortality and erases people at the spiritual level. Be it an immortal god or a simple ghost, no one is safe from this technique. But even without the power to destroy everything, Topo is still one of the strongest beings in the Dragon Ball multiverse. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. With many god tier foes, and was one of the last few people standing in a multiverse spanning fighting tournament. True, but Topo isn't without his limits. He needs time to charge up his energy of destruction before he can actually use it. He has shown some trouble hitting fast opponents, and in the end, he can still be hurt like anyone else. It just takes a lot of effort to do so. And though his god of destruction form is formidable, an equally powerful fighter can overpower him. But regardless of what's thrown at him, Toppy the Topo will always be there to send tyranny right where it belongs. <laughs> the 
the Mushroom Kingdom is a strange but otherwise peaceful place where people usually go about their daily lives awesome. without too much <laughs> excitement. But like any good video game land, it always... Or if we're going to play mushrooms, that'd be funny. <laughs> be it the lovably bad Bowser, evil stars, or even space aliens. It seems like someone's always trying to kidnap the princess, take over the world, or even just yeah. straight up destroy it. But luckily for the kingdom, they have a champion. One who will always rise mm -hmm. to meet the challenge. And that champion is a plumber. Not my first choice, if I'm being honest. Hey, this guy's held many more titles than just plumber. He was a construction Ma worker. Mario. Animal Mario, sorry. You name it. Born as one of the legendary star children, Mario took his role as protector to heart. Defeating all sorts of dangerous enemies, overthrowing <laughs> and saving yeah. the world when he is needed. And despite his fat, sometimes gluttonous appearance, Mario actually packs quite the punch. He can swing large enemies like they're nothing, including the 34-ton King bob -omb, crush bricks and stone with his bare hands, and lift entire fortresses and kick them into the air like they're nothing. And don't let these fortresses fool you. Despite their outer appearances, they are uh, much the, bigger than they were. Nintendo 64 was, was a great to game console. By outer appearances, despite his chubby appearance, Mario is quite the acrobat. He can be compared to the mm -hmm. finest of Olympic athletes, able to outrun cannonballs, speeding bullet bills, electricity, mm -hmm. you name it. Dun, 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 and dun, dun, boy dun. ain't just fast. He's tough. He can be crushed, burned, Exploded, breathe in the vacuum of space, pretty much anything. Well, this could stem from the fact Mario <laughs> has displayed some levels of Toon Force. The same ability that allows characters like Daffy Duck or the Mask to walk off usually lethal injuries. So he's not just tough, he's Toon Tough? Basically. Now I want to see a rabbit season, duck season skip between him and Luigi. But it's not like he's trying to receive fatal injuries. Really? He actively tries to avoid it. Using his great athleticism <laughs> and great effect, he can jump great distances in any direction. <laughs> jump up along walls, roll through tight spaces, or crush enemies with his own weight. Don't oversimplify it. Mario's a powerful fighter, using punches, kicks, headbutts, and spinning throws to beat enemies into submission. But when brute force isn't an option, he is good at finding enemy weaknesses, be it giant monsters or even common ailments. Or when brain power isn't enough, he can use firepower. Though he normally needs some kind of power up to use it, Mario was taught by a fire god to use some mild forms of pyrokinesis. Like <laughs> charging his attacks with flame for more power, shooting fireballs from his hands, or several unique abilities like Firebrand and Fire Orb. Or, he can simply unleash a massive fireball that consumes the entire stage. Perfect to reduce your enemies to cinder or lightly toasting your rump roast at bare minimum. But Mario doesn't just rely on fire. He carries a hammer to crush enemies into a pancake, a Goomba shoe to flatten all in his way, but if these aren't enough, Mario can bash some blocks to go into his inventory and use one of his many, many, many power-ups. The Life Shroom doubles Mario's health. The Fire Flower boosts the power of Mario's already impressive pyrokinesis. The Ice Flower grants Mario ice powers. The Blue Shell gives Mario an extra layer of defense. And the Rock Mushroom encases Mario in a stone shell to crush enemies. The Cape Feather grants Mario the ability to fly and deflect projectiles. The Leaf gives Mario a Tanuki suit that lets him fly and turn into an invincible staff. The Frog Suit grants Mario increased swimming and jumping capability. The Hammer Suit is like the Blue Shell but allows Mario to throw powerful hammers. Awesome. The Metal Cap turns Mario's Ribbit. body Ribbit. into near indestructible Ribbit. metal to reduce knockback. And if Mario needs an unfair advantage, he can use the iconic Star Man, which both increases his running and jumping abilities, and also grants him temporary invincibility. The perfect solution for defeating hordes of enemies. And that's not even the tip of the iceberg when it comes to Mario's power-ups. We'd be here all day if we were to Fun game. 
his hat. Once his old hat was destroyed, a ghost named Cappy took the form of Mario's iconic headwear and ultimately became his partner. <laughs> With Cappy, Mario can throw him in different directions to stun enemies, use him as a makeshift platform, or to possess the innocent. By throwing Cappy at someone's head, Mario will literally take over their body like some sort of ghost, allowing them to use that person's body for his own use. Uh, da, 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 da. What the hell? And with those few words, you <laughs> just inspired a year's worth of fan fiction. Mamma mia! Platonic and otherwise. Trash. The not safe for work potential aside, he can even possess inanimate objects to travel through wires <laughs> and reach higher places. <laughs> Why would he want to use someone else's strength? He's already stronger than most of them anyway. Agreed. He's bested some of his world's most dangerous enemies several times, saved the world and universe on many occasions, and yeah. even beats the tar out of his fellow video game mascots just for fun. He even teamed up with them to stop what might as well be God. But Mario isn't without his flaws. Most of his power-ups will wear off after a period of time. He is very impulsive and most of the time just runs into things head-on. And more often than not, he does have a history of needing help when dealing with threats greater than his usual enemy, Bowser. Heck, he's even been kidnapped a few times himself. But regardless of what pitfalls Mario may fall into, you can bet this Italian plumber will always be game for whatever new enemy comes his way. Alright, the combatants are set. This battle shall have no prep time, no outside help, or home field advantage. It is time to see who would win a fatal conflict! I'm, I'm, I still say that's um, top holes got this one. <laughs> He's up for fun. What? All the crap baskets. I don't know why, but I I I I don't know why, but I think I'm I think I'm gonna be rooting for for Mario. Even even I mean I, I don't know I just I just, I've, I've always like yeah I've always um like um looking out for the for the underdog. Yeah, it's a really it's a really good fight. <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't do nothing. Oh, uh, that's, that's a crack, that's a cracker. Ouch. Ouch. Bowser Mario. Mario Mario Bowser. You have to be that's that's a, that's a that's a that's a that's a really like weird weird um name Bowser Bowser. Ouch. Ow. 
Just one sec, isn't this? Oh, there goes Bowser. <laughs> that was okay. That was that was very funny. <laughs> he, he, he turned it, it, into the um, <laughs> the um, the the kite. The, the, I don't think there would be any need for top ops to use his like uh, god of destruction power. Actually, actually, I wonder, wonder if that's actually ever happened before. Like, um, it, I actually guess it, it, yes, it is. Yeah. I was, go I was gonna say that. Um, I wonder if it was ever a, po a point where um, somebody actually made a a, f a fight where um, a character didn't didn't need to like go to the like second form in order like to beat somebody, and there was it was um, it was Superman, wasn't it? Uh, in the second fight, yeah, like a, 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 like like a new super form or something, and he. But it was never shown. Dude, man, he's built. He's just had a chance. Where? Seriously, what, what, what can he actually do now, anyways? Holy crap, baskets. Yeah, he's 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 cooked. He's toast. Yep. Got nothing you do now. He's done. He's done. Or is he? Better hurry. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> okay, now they're getting serious. Let's see you beat this. That is. Uh oh, I I, I knew I knew, that, I knew that was gonna happen. He's like, uh oh, he's done. No, poor Mario. Both of them were incredibly skilled, and while Mario could survive and evade a lot of what Topo threw at him thanks to his near Toon Force durability and impressive speed, that's all Mario really had going for him. Topo was stupidly more powerful than Mario, able to hold his own yep. against combatants who can destroy planets, and to those who can destroy entire solar systems. While Mario has <laughs> consistently needed help for anyone more powerful than Bowser, who most certainly doesn't compare to Topo. And while Mario can dodge lightning, mm. Topo himself battles he, opponents he, he, he's, he's, he's more powerful than that. Which is millions of times faster than your typical lightning strike. Even in hand-to-hand. -hand. Between Dubbo's much greater power and fighting style, he would most certainly force Mario into submission much more easily yep. than Mario could with Topo. Ultimately, Mario's best options for combating Topo were his very power-ups, which definitely helped him keep up with his opponent. But these power-ups still came with their own flaws. All had a time limit that would eventually run out, and that's ignoring how none of them really gave Mario a reliable way of hurting Topo. And while Cappy could be a potential game changer, 
Given how much faster Topo is compared to the speed Cappy has grown, it is much more likely Topo True. would intercept or destroy Cappy long before Cappy could capture him. Even if he were to use power-ups like the Starman or the Metal Cap, Topo's energy of destruction could easily bypass their invincibility grants, as seen when true immortals like Zamasu were destroyed with ease with the exact same kind of energy. In the end, Mario yep. may have been the more unpredictable fighter, but Topo just had the power, speed, and abilities needed to take this fight. I guess you could say Mario just simply fell from the top. <laughs> Get it? It's his English top name. Ugh. The winner is Topo. Next time. On <laughs> yeah. Family. I guess. Yeah. I guess. Woo! That was awesome. I love that. I love that theme song. Theme song from the X Men. That was that was awesome. That was really 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 fun. Uh, I mean, I I knew the outcome outcome was, <laughs> I, I knew Topper would win this one. Oh well, well done. That, that was that was fun. Uh, let me let me know if there's any other videos you want me to do, do for these guys. So if there's anything you guys want me to react to, just leave it in the comments below, and I will get to the video as soon as I can. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Thank you guys for watching, and if there's a series you want me to check out, and review, and give my thoughts on it, or if there's a top 10 list you want me to do, or any reactions, or responses, or rants on anything geeky, just leave links and comments in the comment sections below, and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Don't forget to like, subscribe, put the bell on, share this video, and leave a comment in the comment sections below. And as for my social medias, I'm literally freaking everywhere! I'm on most video platforms, social medias, forums, and support sites. It's best to pause the video and see where I am. Literally all this is down in the description box below. So if you want to go and check those out, please do. I'm Geek Freak. Peace out.